I would like to congratulate Nepal Geotechnical Society for holding this international event and bringing together the experts and researchers from various parts of the world to discuss the latest developments in the field of geotechnical engineering. I believe this conference is a testament to the commitment of the society to promote the field of geotechnical engineering in Nepal and to contribute to the development of our country. I thank all these individuals, institutions and organizations. Thank you. And a warm welcome to this August gathering today. Thank you very much. More recently, as we move forward with building transportation and energy infrastructures, we confront with the geo and infrastructure related disasters. The mountains are changing at a much different dynamic than they have changed in the past. So firstly, choose a category of hardness, how hard is the rock? And for this, we have provided some basic field tests to identify the hardness category. That's why we need to think by deciding, not only considering the single approach, not only considering the PDA order for hydrological analysis, we need to think of the multiple analysis. This barrier we call ESC 500 safety. The barrier was designed by considering one sequence class 3 as per EN 1990-2003 and uh, of the Austrian guidelines ONR 24810. So we, we don't really understand necessarily what's happening at these high elevations. And the importance of understanding some of those processes can be reflected uh, when you just look at disasters that happen. Here's just a, an overview from, from the general Hindukush area. <laughs> Every engineering problem requires multidisciplinary input, so this conference has tried to create a platform for engineers, geoscientists, architects, and policy makers to come together to discuss the issues that have troubled us in the development of long-lasting and sustainable infrastructure. Not for us, it is for the safe society. So let's us together make sure that whatever we are constructing as a civil engineer is for the safety of the country and the generations to come. Thank you very much for the opportunity.